And good morning, everybody. It's uh, about quarter after six on Sunday morning. It's July 31st. And uh, yeah, we're going back to one of these videos for the channel. I've um, got a quick update on a project bar that I've been working on for a while. Some might not recognize this, some might recognize this now. This is the, uh, this is the locally grown edge. Um, as you can see, it's kind of gone through a little bit of a metamorphosis here. Uh, let's go from the beginning with this bar. So I originally got this bar, it was all blue with amber flashers in the rear. And, you know, I had takedowns, alleys, all that stuff. The passenger side end cap was cracked. Some of the gaskets were kind of foobar. And that strobe tube was finicky. Um, so after going in, looking at some parts, checking out how the bar is laid out, I was able to officially determine with certainty that this is a first generation edge. This is a mid-production first generation bar. And there's a couple of good spotting features for that. Number one, it has the four pad feet on the side instead of six pad, which was found on later generations towards the uh, 9M, 9U series. Uh, second, it has a uh, ridge top, which is found on most of the edges now. Uh, they only did the smooth tops for a very, very short period in the uh, first generation of production. And the biggest takeaway from this bar, I actually take that back. The other two big giveaways for this bar for being a first generation is one, it is a full 40 inch, 48 inch frame, excuse me. Uh, this is a 52 inch bar. A normal uh, 48 inch quote unquote edge that you would find nowadays is actually only a 44 inch frame. The end caps add on the extra two inches to make it a 48 inch bar. Like take for example, my Liberty two, that is a 48 inch bar. It's actually closer to 49, but 48, 49, they're about the same. But that's a 44 inch frame. This is a full 48 inch. And the other big thing is the first generation bars used uh, plastic cutouts that sat far or further back in the uh, bar to hold the lenses in, or to hold the uh, modules in, whereas the later generations, they had the one piece molding. These are all separate units. So the strobe corner, which is a J-tube corner, by the way, you can kind of see it through the, uh, through the lens there. Uh, that's a separate part. The halogen reflector, that's a separate part. Strobe tube, that's a separate part. And everything's held together with plastic and screws. So anyway, getting into the obvious things, uh, why red? Well, I've had these lenses kicking around in storage for years now. I got them from a friend of mine when he was moving down south, and he had a whole stockpile of whaling goodies up in his attic. And I've always wanted to do a first-gen build because I love the, uh, the full-height optics. And I've, I just never had a chance to do it. I had a 44-inch frame that the lenses came on, and I just never had the time to put the power supply back in the bar and try to wire it and match everything up. So I had a working bar with a hodgepodge of lenses and I had lenses that needed a bar. There we go. Um, couple of discrepancies. The front is almost entirely Edge 9000 pieces. The notable exception for first generation versus later generation is just the gaskets. Uh, these are first generation gaskets. They're a lot thicker. These are later generation gaskets. They're much thinner. They're only about three quarters of an inch thick. These are a full inch thick. And they also only have the, uh, they have the spacers here for the lengthened um, blackout piece in the center. On a later Edge 9000, these wouldn't exist. These uh, inner heads would actually be a little longer, or the lenses would be a little longer, and these spacers wouldn't exist. And then on the back of the bar, this is where I had to get a little creative. Um, again, the uh, gaskets are kind of not true to factory. Um, but aside from that, the bar is original first generation parts, except for two strobe heads in the back. Um, 
the two strobe heads, which I moved from this position here. So it used to be in the back, strobe, strobe, halogen. I moved the uh, halogen over to this position, so that way, if you look at the front of the bar, that's strobe, halogen, strobe. That's how it's set up in the back now. Um, yeah, and I did get to keep the one blue lens that was uh, the weird, well, not the weird, but I did get to keep these two original lenses to the bar because they were first generation lenses. I do have the other amber one um, still available with two spacers. I just didn't want to have to cut apart a full length first generation uh, stick. That's a full 17 inch stick. I didn't want to have to chop that up. You don't find that anymore and I decided not to do that. So with that, like I said, the only thing that's not original first generation parts are the four spacers for the center sections and the uh, the two strobes and the, the two inner strobes in the rear those everything else is first generation parts um, which I'm really proud of the fact that I had most of this stuff without having to purchase anything else call that years and years of hoarding so with that we'll get into the electronics portion uh, electrically Bar's exactly the same. I didn't change anything except for swapping out burned out heads with uh, good heads. Um, so these corner strobes are double flash. The uh, rear halogen flashers are just steady alt or just alternating. I think they're about 100, 120 flash per minute. Or Yeah. And then the inner strobes are quad flash. So we'll start with, I can just get my wires hooked up. So this is just the, uh, just the outer strobes, which if my camera could focus, that'd be fantastic. It should be running in 60 frames per second. It's just might be flashing a little too fast for the HD, which is surprising. Then we'll move inward and do halogen flashers. go to the uh, I don't know what this relay I don't know why this is relayed but move to the inner pack if I can get the there we go All the strobes are firing normally. I just don't know why it's not picking up on the camera for once. Might be red versus blue. I've never actually tried red strobes before on camera. And then our orange wire here is our takedowns, which they do work. Our yellow wire is our passenger side alley. Green wire is our driver side alley. So give me a second to bundle all the wires together and we'll get this thing all lit up. All right, so this is everything working. I really wish the camera would pick up the strobes better. These actually look really nice. I'm very happy with how this bar came out. 
even though it's still pretty dirty. I'm probably going to just call this one refined or unrefined restoration and leave it just like this. All right, I'm going to flip the bar around. All right, and that is the locally grown edge in its first generation glory. Like I said, the uh, this is how it's going to look. Aside from maybe finding some different lenses and putting the other amber flasher back in on this side, that's about as far as I'm going to go with this bar. Um, and just swapping out the uh, not first generation parts for first gen. Thanks for watching, and catch you all on the flip side.